Okay, today we're going to talk about how, how to open up your violin or viola case. If your latches go up, your case is in the upright position. If your latches go down, your case is upside down. So make sure your latches are always in the upright position. Then when you open up your case, you'll notice your bow and your instrument. To take your bow out, you have a little mechanism here, a latch. What you need to twist, that's the locked position, that is the open position. So we're going to open up that latch. We're going to take the bow out carefully and slide it out from the end here. When it's time to put it away, you slide it back in. Have the hair face the side of the case and then turn this latch again. Now it's in the locked position. Your instrument just lifts out of the case and of course goes back the same way. Make sure it's in all the way. Your bow is locked. You close your case, lock your latches, and now you know how to open and close your case. Now I'd like to talk about the parts of the violin. You have your chin rest, your tail piece, your four fine tuners, your bridge. Of course, these are your strings. On a violin, it's E, A, D, G. And on a viola, it's A, D, G, and C. You have your fingerboard. On most beginner violins, we'll put pieces of tape here to show you where to put your fingers. You have your peg box, your scroll, your four pegs, your upper bout, your C bout, your lower bout, and your F holes. Now I'd like to talk about a couple things I'd want you to be careful of. One is when you have music, you do not want to store your music on top of your instrument and close your case. You will damage the top of your instrument. Please keep your music separate from your case. Also, keep your shoulder rests separate from your case, not unless you have a case of this style, which actually has a spot in it to store your shoulder rest. That's perfectly acceptable. Storing your shoulder rest in your case if you have this type of case. If you do not, you do not want to store your sponge shoulder rest or your coon shoulder rest. On. Okay, when you're done playing your instrument, it'd be best to take a soft cloth and wipe down the instrument, wipe around the bridge, because you'll get some powder down there. You'll get some rosin down there when you play your instrument. Get your fingerprints off, get the oils off the instrument. You could also use a polish or a polishing cloth, which is a treated cloth. And then when you're done, put the instrument back in the case. Make sure to not put anything on top of your instrument. Close the case and lock your latches. Okay, I'd like to talk about the differences between a violin and a viola. Here's your violin, full size. Here's a full size viola. And as you can tell, the viola is much larger than the violin. The viola is also thicker than the violin. It is also lower in pitch. Take a listen. Now we're going to talk about tuning your instrument. It would be the same for a violin, viola, or cello. A bass would be slightly different. Because an instrument is made of wood and there are no gears at the top, what happens with weather is when it gets cold or dry or warm, the woods will expand and contract at different speeds. When this happens, sometimes a string will become loose and make no sound at all. This is uh, not unusual. What you'll need to do is tighten that string up by holding the peg box and turning the peg, in this case counterclockwise, to tighten the string. Checking the string as you do so, so you don't over tighten. In this particular case, we want to tune this to a G.
I am pushing in on the peg while I turn because it is only friction that holds that instrument together. Now if you see, I am very close at this point. There's a G, I still need to go a little tighter. I have four fine tuners down here which can tighten and loosen the string slightly. I will continue to tighten this G string till that line is right in the center of the tuner. And that's basically in tune. It's a little bit off. There we go. And that's how to tune a string. I would definitely talk to your teacher about that. That's something that you usually will not do for quite some time. But in an emergency situation, you might need to refer to this video on how to do it.